so you just got your shiny new keyboard in the mail with a brand new solder PCB. You've picked out your keycaps and switches well ahead of time and you're ready to assemble it all. But you have a problem, a commitment problem. What if the switches you choose don't sound good? What if you want to change them over time? Should you go tactile, linear, or God forbid, clicky? Well, what if I told you that you can solve your problem with these? These are Milmax hot swap sockets for MX style mechanical keyboard switches. Hi, it's Chris with the Mode Designs team, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through why you might choose to do this, what exactly they are and how they work, and of course, how to install them. Okay, so firstly, why would you want to do this and why not just get a hot swap PCB? Well, a lot of custom keyboards might not necessarily have a hot swap option. And even those that do, sometimes it's difficult to find ones that'll support the layout you want. For example, maybe you're an ISO layout user or you want a split backspace, spacebar, or left shift. To achieve these special layouts, you'll oftentimes resort to a solder-only PCB option. So Milmax sockets will allow you to still get the layout you want, but also have the flexibility to use it as a hot swap board and change out your switches on the fly. So how exactly do they work? Well, if you consider what soldering a regular MX style switch does, all you're doing is filling the space between the switch pin and the PCB to make contact so that when you actuate the switch, the PCB can read it. Hot swap sockets have spring-loaded metal contacts inside, which make contact with the switch legs when a switch is inserted. This means that a switch can be quickly pulled out and exchanged without soldering directly to the switch leg. But there are a plethora of different types of hot swap sockets. Mode hot swap PCBs utilize kale hot swap sockets that are more bulky and reliable than Milmax sockets, but they require a different PCB footprint. Milmax sockets are very tiny and drop directly into the holes that the switch pins go through. So which one should you choose? Well, the ones that we use and the ones you can find at modedesigns.com are the Milmax 3305 hot swap sockets. We use the 3305 sockets because they have the shortest length while maintaining full functionality. This lowers the chances of any potential interference between the PCB and keyboard chassis. And now that you know what these are and how they work, we're going to show you how to install them. First, you'll need a couple tools. For each MX switch, you'll need two Milmax sockets, one for each switch pin. So if you have a keyboard like the Mode Sonnet with 80 to 83 switches, you'll need about 160 to 166 sockets. You will also need a soldering iron, solder, solder wick, a fume extractor, tweezers, and a heat resistant tape. We like to use the Captain heat resistant tape, which you can also find on the Mode store. In the pinch, you can use masking tape, but it's not heat proof and it isn't our preferred choice. Okay, so starting with one row at a time, install the sockets onto your PCB. Make sure you know what layout you want for your board, especially around the switches that have stabilizer cutouts. For example, a solder PCB that supports split backspace will have three switch positions for the backspace key. The one in the center is used with the full two unit backspace and the two outer switch positions are used for a backspace that is split into two one unit keys. If you drop Milmax sockets into all three switch positions and you try to use the full backspace option, the stabilizers will collide with the Milmax sockets and will not snap into the PCB properly. So be sure you know the layout you want ahead of time and do not solder Milmax sockets into the unused key positions. After all of the Milmax sockets have been dropped in for a row, take a strip of capped on tape and cover the hot swap sockets. Repeat for each row until all your switch sockets are complete. Next, flip the board over and solder in each socket. To solder, use your solder iron to heat the switch contact pad and the Milmax socket. Use just a small amount of solder, being careful not to flood the socket. Repeat for each switch until all your sockets are complete. Now, flip your board back over, remove the tape, and insert your switches. Make sure that the switches go in perfectly parallel and straight before inserting. Once all your switches are in, you can plug your board back in and test it out in a program like VIA. And now, you've successfully turned your solder PCB into a hot swap. And while we can't solve your commitment issues, at least you can now easily swap out switches anytime you want. For any technical questions, order help, or other inquiries, feel free to email our support team at support at modesigns.com.